All right, guys, I'm back, and here is my latest setup. Um, I finally found something to put in this room. Um, this is an automated recycler, um, which builds the scrap that you can see moving there into, if I can use it, yep, into auto crafting, use through the auto crafting table into scrap boxes, which are moved into here, and this thing deploys them, which if you don't know, a scrap box basically gives you a random item um, when you when you right click it when you use it, and so um, there's all these chances. Basically, it gets I don't think it's any item, but a lot of items. Um, so the deployer pops it out, and then I've got an obsidian pipe that catches the item and pumps it into here. So as you can see, I've I ran a couple chests filled with cobble through it <clears throat> and generated the stuff it's like random dust some some of them not so good some of them kind of good um, but you can get diamonds you know it might, there's a chance for diamonds there's a chance for a lot of valuable stuff so thought I would throw together a setup to automatically get rid of all my extra materials and what I can do is basically just throw it all into there um, and it'll it'll pump it automatically using um, there's this is a transposer and right behind it in the wall is a timer and you can see it there uh, it's set to half a second and then this is just a recycler um, and I put three overclockers in there uh, just because that's what I could what I had the materials for and it seemed like a decent speed I could throw another in but um, Actually, one is the best because it actually uses less EU and creates more and works faster than a stock machine. Um, this three uses about four EU per tick, which I can definitely afford, so it's no big problem. Um, and that's just set up basically making scrap constantly. Scrap goes into here uh, via that redstone engine. There's an auto crafting table under here. And then this is just piped straight into deployer using buildcraft pipes, which work totally fine. And then the complicated part is this guy. There's a timer here, set to two seconds, ticking around there, and it basically just that just toggles this um, once every two seconds. And when that happens, you can see, yeah, now it's off, now it's on, and so. If there's a scrap box in here, it'll use it, it'll pop out, and the item will like fly out the front like a, almost like a dispenser. Um, so one more here, and it'll make one, so we can watch that happen. And there were some bugs, which once this goes through, I will explain. Things to avoid. Okay. Yep. There you go. So the time I made bread. Um, well, what I'd originally done was I'd had these micro blocks here on the next block over so they were flush. But since that acts like a solid block, um, when this dispense an item, it would go in there and just like fly out in a random direction. So uh, don't do that. You have to have them like this, um, unfortunately. Um, I could have done this in a bigger area, but I just kind of wanted it nice and compact, like flush. It's basically one, one or two, one wide here, and then all the engines make it about two wide. So. Um, it's pretty compact, and I also wanted to be able to see this just for uh, aesthetic value. It's kind of cool to, to watch. Um, and you can see they're bouncing back like that because it's filled up, and once it reaches the full capacity, it'll bounce back, but once it empties again, it'll just come, come back out, so it's not a big deal. Um, I could slow the timer down, and that wouldn't happen. But I felt it was better to be too fast, rather be, be faster than, than slower, because there's no, no real penalty. Um, and yeah, oh, there's another drop, and the drops just get automatically pumped uh, into this chest, and they just sit here. Um, and a lot of this stuff I'll probably end up feeding right back into the input chest, because I don't need these these wooden tools or whatever, but it's just interesting to see, like, what I get and what I get more of and stuff like that. Um, but I, I don't think I'll do a tutorial for this, because it's fairly self-explanatory. You basically just hook everything up, um, transposer to get items out of the chest, on a timer into the recycler into a chest has to be a chest can't be a barrel with a barrel you'll hit the bug that auto crafting tables will just eat the items and not use them there goes another one 
Um, it has to be a it has to be a chest, but I mean it's all, it's never gonna hold more than you know nine. Um, and this will hold a stack of scrap boxes, so there's no big deal. It's never gonna create more than this can handle. Um, and then obsidian pipe. Um, you could use, I believe it was a relay, or there's a there's basically a, there's a red power device which sucks items in from from outside when it's given a a pulse. Um, oh, I actually think it's a transposer. Yeah. Um, or could it be? Yeah, no, it's definitely the transposer. So it either sucks them from a chest or from like basically just the outside world, like an obsidian pipe does. Except its range isn't as good. So I was having problems where there's items sitting on this lip here and here um, that weren't getting picked up. So obsidian pipe seems to solve that, and it's you know works fine. Um, and the good part about that is you don't need another counter. Um, or another timer. I, I, what I had before was the same redstone pulse would would trigger that um, transposer, but I mean it wasn't working, so I swapped it out for the pipe and everything seems to work great now. So I'm just getting rid of a bunch of my extra wood and, and cobble. And you never really might get to diamond or something and it's basically free to run it, so it's not a big deal on energy or anything. So yeah, um, if you want to build this, um, it's kind of a good addition. Use up all your extra chests full with cobble and maybe you'll get a diamond or two. Um, Alright, well thanks for watching.